Hello back again. Today we have another ranked game of mine. It's French vs Mongols on wetlands. Um, to be honest, um, I just knew I can pick everything on this map because berry bushes are really bad. Yeah, you can go for the shoreline fish, but you don't really get an advantage from that and French does relatively well with shoreline fish. Um, my opponent is the Mongols. Getting his TC up next to the gold. His gear could be gathering sheep. Cuts his obu. And I don't know why he sent it in. All on stone. So I'm already two villagers ahead at that time because of his long setup time from here to here. Is that actually worth or would be setting up instantly better? I don't know. Probably did not. This is very nice. You get safe gold, safe wood, safe food. This location I would find even better because you can gather food and wood and you can gather fast food here instead of the deer. With the deer you could wait until the upgrade. Get my rebarrow at the time. Um, with shoreline fish, you can get one villager less on food and four villagers on gold, and that speeds up your age up timing. Also, I should have gathered this pond because the food is closer to each other, so I could have put it here or here and gather all of it very effectively. So that was a mistake. But yeah, I think uh, I run out now. That's the only really bad thing. There are only two sheep worth. Three villager because French. And not close, not exactly three. Close. A few seconds. Next villager, three villager lead. And. That's kind of feudal age. I was a little bit too quick with that. And yeah, on if you have shoreline fish, it's such a good start because you get your night up so early with rebarrow. Without rebarrow, you would could get it even faster. You probably could probably have been up now or something like that. He's still getting resources. Sending spearmen for a tower wash. To be fair, at that point I didn't even expect a tower wash anymore because it's way too late, mate. Especially on maps like that. So, <laughs> nice tower wash. Um, so now you're three villagers behind, and I still can get two knights up. Get any more wood for that? Yeah, he probably can burn down the mining camp, but who cares? That's 75 resources minus for me. Uh, minus plus. He gets resources from that, and I lose a few if he burns it down completely, but the house I can repair, so that's no problem.
Yes, I had to rally it, it there and it actually would have worked. Also, what this bullshit is, I still don't know. Um, I have no idea why it cancels the charge on units who are attacking. They should fix that. It's so annoying. Oh, yeah. Or other solution. I was wondering how I dealt with the tower, but yeah, that's also no solution. Um, he goes up with a silver tree. I'm more or less chilling at the moment, so yeah, nice, I defended the tower wash, I'm more or less safe. Um, what to do now? I'm thinking, I think I go for a rest a little bit. Also, Oh wow. Where is my food? Oh, there on the sheep. I think I go up here or something like that. Yeah, up here probably. Because I remember still this location from... I looked in the start on it and I don't know why I didn't take it. It was so much better. Also, it's forward, and you want to attack the forward resources earlier. Um, especially with French, because it's less protected. With the Mongols, it doesn't matter that much, but... Yeah, that's... Just annoying with the Fran uh, Mongols. And slowly I was thinking, what he's doing? Hmm, wait, it's Mongols. It could be a silver tree opener. To be fair, he still didn't produce. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure it cancels this charge again, because I don't know why. Oh no, it doesn't charge nice. And because it's a Dark Age Spearman, he has absolutely no chance. And that's his first two traders. Oh, he has already four. Huge. And he wants to trade with that market, that's more or less smart. The only problem is, with the long tour, you won't really get it. Also, he doesn't produce much army, I don't know what his army is. Nice, he has a few spearmen, amazing. I'm so confused by that build, to be honest. I think I'm on second TC, yeah. Right now. Oh yeah, of course, I'm on the berry slot in the fish. What else? Oh, he trades the short way? He trades the short way at the moment because he's scared. That's interesting. No, no, it's long away. They got a few resources from that, I think. But not quite, uh, not that many. Uh, and 180 gold now. Let's see how his first trader does. Okay, best trader for 90 resources wasn't worth it. He loses again villagers. 
I have, to be honest, no idea what I did that he catched up my villagers. Yeah, I'm on bullshit, bullshit again. That's so annoying, this matchup. To be fair, honest, I think the only mistake you can do was in French versus Mongo matchup is go server 3 because that's the only way French actually wins versus you. Um, sorry if you hit that. Um, yeah. And he killed one knight if I saw that correctly. And yeah, he gets three villagers in, that's def uh, traders in, that's definitely worth. And gets the second knight as well. Holy shit, I'm stupid. So now he's quite far ahead. <coughs> and my decision is yeah, let's send a knight here. Be annoying on this side. And he invests more or less all his resources in more traders. Do I see that right? Yeah. 198 gold. Wow. That's again. And this is also only 188 gold. And first strike force on archers to uh, arriving. I don't think it was. Does this not survive? Of course not. Oh, he forgot to research arrow slits. Next way that the Okay, he did again tonight. My threats are so horrible. How I'm still only three villagers ahead? Oh, it's just traders, of course, but I want. Yeah, it's traders, of course. They count as villagers. I'm just. I was thinking I'm on TTC. I'm French. I was with the uh, villagers ahead from the beginning. I don't know what I did here. What the fuck? What's what was that? Ah uh, yeah, I go more archer branches. Because why not? Yes, the problem. He has more or less no food income at the moment. Oh, he gets a pasture switch. Yeah, at least they killed a few traders more. Do I get spears? I don't think so. Ah, interesting, what he's doing now? Smart guy, only built two of the four pastures. Maybe you want a few more? I don't know. So you actually can afford horsemen. Oh well, it's actually brand new when I scout it more or less. Yeah, at the moment 
That's a small goal trade boom, he's quite good in the game. He has so much gold, he could just buy the food he needs to put his units. And yeah. I don't know why we don't produce archers. Okay, I'm producing again. Oh, I'm not the come probably. Ah. That's the calm. Huge horseman army. Smart idea to go for the ram, as a not with the horseman, because now he doesn't have the. He has the food income. He just doesn't have the protection for the horseman. And also his traders are dying. Now his villagers are dying. Trade is again dying. And that's not again uh, the horseman. He should have waited for a few more. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, I'm blind. Oh no, I'm just. Okay, I get the trade here. But that was actually worth. To be fair, I, I should do uh, my them here. But now his traders are all useless. Du -du -du -dum. Yeah. And yeah, that's GG. <laughs> I'm also thinking, yeah, I was, was aging up at the time. I don't really know what he did. I think if he had, the, if he just had waited for the horseman, he would have died. But I think he noticed it too late. Yeah, that's the village account. Oh, I lost the village, that's interesting. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't put use here, really. Yeah, I had my food, but I also lost my food than he did. Yeah, I didn't have that much gold more. Less but a little bit more stone, so... Pot 33. 1746. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, see you guys. Have a nice day. Bye. And good luck in your games.